After leaving the uh, main part of the Rio Grande, um, I stumbled on something serendipitously. Uh, it was uh, Feeder Creek for the main river, and uh, I drove up it quite a ways just speculatively seeking something different to fish and found it. Uh, it's uh, quite interesting looking water. Decent size, maybe running at uh, 150, 250 feet, uh, cubic feet right now. Well, that's my the van up ahead where I parked through the, and camped overnight. But uh, got late here in the afternoon and uh, just took a long look at the water. Didn't see anything happening. I tried it a little bit, caught nothing. But the next morning, all hell broke loose in a good way. Uh, after having breakfast, I got down on the water and a few caddis were finally flitting about. This was about 7.30. By uh, 8.30, the place was wild with uh, hatches. Everything you can imagine. Golden stones, yellow sallies, PMDs, midges by the millions. It was just amazing. And the fish came up everywhere. I couldn't find them the night before, but this day it was just fantastic. Um, that's why it's going to be remain named No Name Creek, because I just assume I have other people there. And there were no other fishermen around when I was there. So this was great. Um, fish you're looking at right now is uh, something I never expected here. It's about a 15 or 16 inch brook trout that's as fat as a little pig. Uh, three different species of fish, mostly brown trout, probably split between rainbows and brooks for the other ones. Uh, there are some good sized fish in here. I had, when I started fishing that morning, before I knew there was going to be a hatch, uh, I had a big head come up and try to eat my thema bobber. So I thought that was enough to make me change to uh, a uh, little WRS caddis imitation up above and a stimulator at the other end. Uh, as it turned out, most of the uh, fish took the uh, WRS, which is a little. 16 or 18 uh, caddis fly imitation, and a few took the uh, stimulator. But uh, the fishing was out of this world. These clips don't do justice to uh, how good the fishing actually was. Um, I've never seen anything like it. Uh, I was probably getting a strike every other cast or so. Didn't get a lot of hookups. Uh, probably had 50 or so strikes in this little riffle that you're looking at here. It, it just got to be too much too soon. So when it gets too easy, it's not fun any more than it's not fun when it's too hard. But uh, this is uh, as good a fishing as I've seen in Colorado. Uh, the fish sizes aren't as huge as they might be on the White River, but uh, the quantities of fish here are astonishing and uh, definitely plan to come back here one more time this year just to see if it, it wasn't my imagination that it turned out to be this good. Um, let's hope it'll be the same way next year when I come back because it's, uh, it's as good a place as I've seen. The aggressiveness of the fish, I had to sit down on the bank to release this one and the minute I dropped the fly back into the water, another fish hooked, picked it up right by my feet. I couldn't believe it. So that, that was a fun experience. Uh, it's, it's delightful here, and uh, especially with the absence of people. Um, no animals around. Uh, just an absolutely beautiful location, so we'll, we'll be back again.